A little while ago, I reviewed the Git Data Plus Music, a product which claimed to make it easy for you to add data overlays containing speed and elevation to your GoPro videos, but was let down by poor software implementation. Today, and thanks to your feedback that you left in the comments on that video, we're looking at a solution to do this completely for free that's faster, easier, free, and gives you a huge number of more options in the actual overlays you create. The piece of software we're going to be using is the Garmin Verb Editor. It's the piece of software that's paired with the Garmin Verb Action Camera and allows you to edit their footage along with the GPS tracks that the Garmin Verb Action Cameras record, much like how GoPro has GoPro Studios to help you edit GoPro video. The neat thing here though is that Garmin hasn't actually locked down their piece of software to only editing footage from the Garmin Verb. If you want to take GoPro footage and throw it into the editor, you totally can. Even better, you can even throw in a third-party GPS track that you've recorded using a GPS, a cell phone with a GPS logger, that's what I was doing, or a, a bike speedo, or basically anything on earth that logs a GPX uh, log track, you can just take that file and throw it in and overlay it over top of the footage that was shot at the same time. The only drawback here is that the GPS track and the video track are not aligned automatically and you do have to spend some time fiddling around with it manually to make the alignment just perfect. You are going to need two things to get started. The video track of your action shot on basically any action camera and a GPS track to go along with it. I created my GPS track using a free app for my Android phone called GeoTracker and then exported it of into a GPX format. That's the important part. So if you're looking, you can use basically any GPS tracker you want as long as it can, as long as it can export a .gpx file. That's the, the file that we need to be able to put into the verb editor. We're going to start by launching the verb editor. If you don't have it installed yet, you can check the link in the video description or a quick Google for Garmin verb editor will bring it up. Once the software is loaded, we're going to grab the video track that we want to use and drag it in. If you want to drag in multiple video tracks, you can, but you are going to have to manually align the GPS track for each video track. We're going to then highlight the video tracks you want to use and click create new video. This is going to bring up a dialog box where we can select the title of the project we want to work on and then click create video. This will bring us into the editor itself. Inside here, we're going to start by grabbing our video tracks and dragging them down onto the timeline below. Underneath the edit tab, that's on the left hand side of the screen, there's some options for rotating video, splitting it, trimming it to a desired length, speeding it up and slowing it down. It's great to see those inside of here. What we're really interested in is adding the data from a GPS track as an overlay. So let's jump right to that now. That's the G metrics tab. We're going to click that and then we're going to click import G metric. Inside this new dialog box, we're going to click on on my computer and then we can either browse or simply click on the GPX file we created using our cell phone, using a GPS logger or using an actual GPS and drag that file into the editor. After that's done, we're going to click the use this log button and that is going to link the GPS track to the video file we had selected when we clicked import G metric. This has linked the two files together but it has not aligned them properly. So the next step is actually going to be aligning the files. To do this we're going to come down and click on the G metric sync button at the bottom of the screen and that's going to bring up a new dialog box. On the left we're going to see our video track and on the right we're going to see a map of where our GPS track went. What we're going to do is move the slider along the bottom of the video track until we find a position in the video that we know we could easily recognize on the map. We're going to leave that slider there, then we're going to go to the right hand panel, that's the map panel, and move that slider until we get the red dot over top of that same point. And then we're just going to click done and that's those two video tracks perfectly aligned. If you're using multiple video tracks, you're going to want to repeat these steps. First, selecting the GPS log you want to link them to and then synchronizing the GPS and the video track. There's a bunch of other options you can explore inside of the Garmin Verb Editor. Some of them that you really want to check out are the Overlays tab where there's a ton of different overlays you can use to display the GPS data that you've now linked to the video tracks. You can display it in many, many different forms, which is really cool to check out. So make sure you look at that. And then you can add soundtracks, transitions, and even titles to the video. Once you're all done and you're happy with how your video looks and you've done the edits you want to do, you can click the export button up in the top right hand corner. Here you'll be 
allowed to pick the name of your video, the quality settings you want to use during export, as well as the location on your computer where you want to save the rendered file. With that, the edit is finished. What I really love about this piece of software is the fact that it's all inclusive. You can do absolutely everything inside of it. No need to uh, add the overlay, export it, and then use that video track in a different editor to actually create your edit. You can import footage directly off the GoPro camera. You can make rudimentary edits that include cutting the videos to length, rotating them, uh, adding titles, adding soundtracks, basically everything you want to do during editing, you can do inside the software package as well as add GPS overlays. I love the fact that Garmin has created the software package for their cameras, but has made it usable by people that don't own Garmin Verb cameras. You can easily use this with a GoPro camera and a GPS track logger from any app store that's free. So this is a totally free way to add GPS overlays to your video tracks. And if you compete in motorsports or running or anywhere where a map of what you're doing adds to the video track showing someone the what's going on, you should totally check out this technique because you're probably already carrying your, your cell phone. It's a really easy thing to do and experiment with. The only thing to note is that using a GPS logger does burn a fair bit more battery than just having your phone in standby. I also want to give a huge shout out to the community because it was you guys that pointed out you can do this technique of adding a GPS overlay using the Garmin Verb software. It was all thanks to you. I had no idea you could do this and it was your great comments on the Get Data Plus Music video that allowed me to create this and allowed me to learn about this and find out about it and share it with everyone. So thank you so much for those comments. They mean an absolute ton. You guys rock. But most of all, until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.